So one of the cooler news stories that has been developing that I've been following here in my home city of Orlando, Florida, is EA Tiburon and their potential move of their headquarters to downtown Orlando. So those not familiar with EA Tiburon, they used to be Tiburon Entertainment years and years ago, and they are one of the few studios that was bought out by EA that hasn't really lost its identity, so to speak. They are definitely most famous for their involvement in the annual Madden football franchise. Um, And they're in Maitland. And if you're not geographically familiar with Orlando, Maitland's about 25 minutes away. But it is definitely its own city, different than that of Orlando. And a lot of people who aren't familiar with Orlando think that Orlando just spans pretty much the Gulf to the Atlantic right in the center of the state. And while Central Florida and Orlando are two very distinct entities, a lot of times they're lumped in together. So a couple years ago... um, when UCF announced, the University of Central Florida announced that they were going to be going into downtown Orlando, there was this idea to develop this industrial center called the Creative Village. And long, not long after that, Mayor Buddy Dyer uh, said that he wanted to include um, more businesses in this district that they're developing. So I, being the hardcore gamer that I am... <laughs> went to the city council website and I watched this. There's only 81 views. I want you to notice this. I am one of those 81 views. The city council meeting, I waited patiently to observe this because I knew they were voting on it today. And uh, I'm just going to let this play in the background. It's on mute. But essentially, um, they took this to vote. And I know this is how politics works. You have the, the city council meeting and they, they bring up the people and they basically lay everything out in a docket and then the city council opens the floor up to anybody pro or con to discuss you know their opinions on it and then the city council votes and makes their decision. Uh, there was actually one negative vote from a woman who lives in the nearby area who felt that EA was getting a little bit too much and her area wasn't getting as much, but that did not stop the city council from voting and saying, hey, you know what, we want this. So I watched all this, this basically this really long drawn out PowerPoint presentation explaining the history of, um, you know, what the creative village is and essentially, uh, I'll go ahead and pause it here. Um, this zone here, which is a pretty large space, which will house a five-story building, which will initially house um, about 700 employees with an expansion up to about 1,200 or so eventually. This is a venture by the city basically putting forth this creative village for EA to come and work there. Uh, This is very common practice. I see this a lot in um, the industry I work in where states or cities will invest you saw it probably most notably with amazon not too long ago where uh, cities were competing and basically saying hey amazon if you come to us we will give you all of these incentives and tax breaks and we'll build up the infrastructure around you and so on and so forth now this was a pretty easy move for ea as i mentioned uh maitland isn't that far away from downtown orlando but this puts them right in downtown orlando pretty prime piece of real estate that lot alone is a little over six million dollars and uh the city of orlando is going to build up this giant building and in exchange um ea tiburon will move there and continue to develop the madden franchise there and um the conditions are that they'll get up to nine million dollars in tax breaks and they will get um they have to stay there for at least 15 years And part of that will be, you know, as an influx of more people come, as the University of Central Florida downtown campus expands, they're going to try to build this area up as a technological hub, calling it the Creative Village. And um, yeah, so I watched this and I thought this was actually kind of neat. They get a tax break. It cannot exceed up to $9 million, um, basically saying that they'll, they could stay there forever if they want to. So I'm going to pause this and we'll jump over here. And there's some uh, concept art of what uh, the new AA building may look like in downtown Orlando. And I think that's really cool. I mean, I think we can all agree that EA 
definitely has their fair share of problems. Um, you could argue whether or not you like a particular franchise, whether you like Madden, don't like Madden, whether you like EA or don't. But the fact that we are starting to see the city of Orlando, my hometown, really invest in gaming as a gamer is awesome. I mean, from this address to my house is very, very close. Um, doesn't mean I'll see when I'm letting the dog out in the morning, I'll see the bright lights of EA, uh, you know, in the horizon or anything. But this does open up a lot of possibilities. And typically, in my experience of seeing this sort of thing, once one company kind of bites the bullet, so to speak, many others jump in. So you may see smaller graphic studios trying to get a piece of EA's business. You may see sound studios, motion capture studios, third party control, anything, really anything involving video games as companies start flocking to the area as this technological hub builds up. And that's really, really, really cool. So uh, I was kind of proud of myself that I followed this news story. I don't see a lot of people talking about it. Probably not a big deal to a lot of people. This isn't by any means the national headquarters of electronic arts. This is just a very small subset of people who kind of lived in the area, but now kind of funneling into one area. I'm curious to see how this relates to University of Central Florida's video game development um, as they continue to build up their technological footprint in downtown. Obviously, they have East Orlando, their main campus, on lockdown. But as the university expands, it seems pretty clear to me that Buddy Dyer and a lot of the officials here in Orlando are highly interested in building up another technological corridor, kind of like what we have right now over in the UCF area. So that's really cool. So a little different type of video today, somewhat video game related, um, but ultimately I thought it was something really cool we're sharing and more just an attaboy myself that I watched government at work <laughs> and I did watch the city council minutes and I was following the story closely and it's something that's really neat. Now, does that mean I'm going to quit my job and go work at EA as a game tester? Probably not, but it's cool that we are starting to see other areas build up and I'm curious to see where this goes. Who knows? Maybe Ubisoft will build an office down here next. Or maybe we'll get some other cool vendors in the area. And it's going to shake things up in the tech industry here in Orlando. And that is really cool. So with that, I'd like to close out this video. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, uh, one of the coolest things for me was going to Los Angeles and seeing all the big signs of Square Enix and Konami and all those sorts of things you know, as I was driving around in LA. And now I'm gonna have my very own EA sign in downtown Orlando. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.